I believe that this program is correct. So now I can go back and start trying to make it more efficient. And every time I make a change, I can compare the output of the changed version with the output of the previous version to see that it's the same. I now have an oracle that will tell me what the right answer is, and I can compare the new output, where the, where the correctness of the program is less obvious and possibly suspect, against the output of my oracle. And this is another reason to do development this way. Right, Donald Knuth once said that premature optimization is the root of all evil. Too many people start by writing the program to be fast, which makes it harder to tell if the program is correct. There's no point being fast if you're wrong. Okay. So this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven executable lines, a couple blanks and a comment. Okay, I'm kind of confident of its output. So now let's go back and see if we can make this a little bit faster. Here's one optimization. Numbers divide in pairs. Right? If, if I divide evenly into 12, there must be something else that also divides evenly into 12, right? 3 divides into 12 because 4 does. 3 times 4 is 12. 2 divides in because 6 does. Pretty easy to convince yourself that one of the numbers has to be less than the square root of that. I don't have to check every number up to that. 99 cannot possibly divide evenly into 100, right? Okay, so let me say that while divisor... times divisor is less than 100, right? Because I, I don't have to check all the way up. I don't have to check whether 87 divides into 100. If it did, something else that was less than the square root of 100 would also have divided into 100. If 50 divides into 100, it's because 2 did, and I'll hit 2 first. So I can dramatically reduce the amount of work I have to do just by adding that. Okay, let's make sure I haven't broken anything, okay? Okay. Are we good? Really? No. Okay. That, that's wrong. Where's the flaw in the output? You know the answer. What's wrong? Four is not a prime. Okay. Hey, hey. Something's wrong. What else is wrong? Uh, uh, you know the solution as well. What's wrong with the output? Nine's not a prime. Okay. Yeah. Twenty-five. Oh, okay. So the pattern seems to be that squares are showing up. Except where's sixteen? If the problem was that perfect squares are showing up as primes, then 16 should be in that list. It's not. Where's 36? Squares of primes are showing up. What's going on? Okay, well, come back and look at the code. Okay. Let's try it for n equals 4, the first piece of wrong data. Okay. The smallest and simplest case for which this is wrong. Good rule of debugging. The smaller the case the easier it is to figure out. So we start with divisor equal to 2, and while 2 times 2 is less than 4, oops, 2 times 2 is 4. So we never go in here and find out that 4 is not a prime. All right? Divisor is 2. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. It's not less than 4. So this loop never executes, not even once. So we never set that flag to false. So we come out of here thinking that 4 is prime because we never looked at the case that would prove us wrong. So let's, if we're right, then we should be able to come back here and do that because we want to test up to and including the square root of the number. Right? This will fix it for the case 4. Will it fix it for the case of 9? Don't know. Let's give it a try. Okay, is that the same as the output I had before I optimized the program? Is it? You've read every single line? You didn't read every line. I saw you nod. You believe the fix is correct. You believe the logic, but you're not actually checking the output. Okay? My logic is often flawed. Like most human beings, once I've got a plausible story that's internally consistent, I think it must be right. Okay? That's how human beings think. <laughs> what we'll be looking at tomorrow is once I've got a correct version, how can I get Python or Java, MATLAB, whatever language I'm using to do the checking for me so that I don't have to trust that at 11 o'clock on Thursday when the paper deadline is midnight, I'm frantically hacking the bit of code to get that last figure out. I'm not in any fit state of mind to be reading lines and lines of output to make sure they're correct, am I? Okay, that's the point at which I want the program to be checking itself. We'll see how to do that tomorrow.
you have to invest that effort now because at 11 o'clock on Thursday, when you're an hour away from the deadline for submitting this paper, you aren't going to be either mentally fit to do it, coffee, right? And also, you don't have time then to do the right thing. 